Ready for some action? We found Kudu. Let's go deliver an inspirational beating. Zoja, good. I was afraid you'd been killed. And if you're dead, who will witness the ascendance of Snaf's greatest apprentice? As you can see, there are still a few glitches in the system. These unexpected elemental portals, for example. Hmm. <laughs> Too much unstable energy, I fear. It's just like everything else about you, Kudu. Unstable. Now shut that thing down before your glitching knockoff destroys everything. But that's what field tests are for, right? Now that I've ironed out the kinks, my Weathermatic 5000 is ready for its debut. That's my invention, Kudu! Shut it down now and we'll let you walk out of here. Well, limp out. There's still a beating headed your way. Sorry, can't stay. I've got an appointment with the Arcane Council. I guarantee they'll be swept away by my demonstration. I just hope they're all wearing hip boots. I have the sneaking suspicion it's going to rain in Rata soon forever. Aw, did Zoja's mechanical best friend fall down? <laughs> oh, sparkles now, Feel the blinding sting of my blizzard. Rivel, curl and blacken in my blistering heat. My genius strikes like lightning. Interaction protocols.
Kudu go. I was going to cram his feet down his throat and make him swallow himself. I like a plan with no drawbacks, but Kudu's long gone. He stole the designs for a personal teleporter ages ago. Whenever he's losing an argument or a fight or just losing face, zap, he's gone. Usually after getting in the last word. He mentioned the council and said he was going to make it rain forever. But what does he get out of flooding Ratasu? He's in quest and he's petty. If he embarrasses the counselors or even kills a few, it disrupts the system. And the inquest will capitalize on that. Not if we stop him. And will. The council is important, but did you hear what he named my invention? Weathermatic 5000, indeed. Kudu must pay.